Did you know that eight out of 10 traders will fail their funded account? It's showing that for every 10 traders that try and attempt to pass a profit from account, they will fail either in phase one or phase two. And that's an 80% failure rate, which is not good at all. If you guys do not know, these prop firms make money off people failing these challenges. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I pass my funded accounts and how you guys can replicate the same process and use my exact strategy. Also, if you guys think about that, 80% of people are failing these challenges. That means about 20% of the people that take these challenges are actually getting to where they get a live account. But here's the even crazier part. 3% of those people that actually get to phase one and phase two and get their live account will fail and never even get their first payout. So instead of you being another statistic and giving these prop firms your hard earned money, let me show you exactly how we can rob them together and get funded up to a million dollars in 2023. If you wanna be mentored by me, send me the word Forex on my Instagram. There should be a link in my description where you guys can follow me or simply add at Colt underscore most death. Send me the word Forex and let's see if you're a good fit. One more thing, if you guys could show some type of love, like this video, drop a comment below and hit that subscribe button for me if you aren't already subscribed. Now without further ado, let's get into this video, baby. Let me spit some game on you guys right now. With these prop firms, this is the easiest way to get to $100,000 a month, $10,000 a month. I know that some of you have these little goals of getting $100 a week, $500 a month, whatever it may be. Like you guys really need to 10x the way that you guys think because we're in a really, really special time in our lives right now. The economy is absolute shit. We're going into a possible recession. They say, I don't believe that whatsoever because if there was a recession, nobody would eat, nobody would be eating out at these expensive steakhouses that I go to. And just there would be a lot less money being spent, which there's a lot of money being spent. So look, with these prop firms, you can get up to a million dollars in funding if you follow this step-by-step -step process. I just want to go through and show you FTMO and compare it with my Forex fund so you guys can get an idea on which prop firm is going to be the best one for you. Now with FTMO, they do have a free trial, but I want to go over like the actual challenge part with you guys. So um, my Forex funds is another prop firm. Guys, the two top prop firms are definitely my Forex funds and FTMO. Don't go with any of these other BS prop firms out there. Like I'm so tired of people going with these other ones. Like bro, next step funded shit. There's other prop firms out there too that are just absolute shit. Like you do not want to be with these prop firms. They have these dumb consistency rules where they're basically going against you. FTMO and my Forex funds, they are not on any slick crap like that where they're trying to take your money or anything. So look, let's go through and let's compare a $100,000 account on FTMO with my Forex funds. First off, my Forex funds to actually buy the account, it is $500 for a 100K account. With FTMO, their 100K, is 540 euros this is like 550 usd so ftmo is expensive more expensive by about 50 dollars on the 100k account and guys you do not want to be going for a little twenty-five thousand dollar challenge a 10k challenge like it's a waste of time there's so much energy and it's really actually hard to pass these challenges so you don't want to waste your time going through all this mental emotional bs to barely get $10,000 in funding, that's stupid. So you wanna be going for a 100K or 200K account at least. If I were you guys, I'd be going for the 200K once you feel confident enough to actually take the challenge. So first off, my Forex funds, they're winning, they're cheaper. Second thing, with phase one on my Forex funds, you only need 8%. But on FTMO, you do need for the profit target, you need 10%. So that's a whole 2% less on my Forex funds compared to FTMO. I'm not bashing on FTMO at all. We need them. We need both of these prop firms to work with us in alignment so we can actually get the most funding out of it. So everything else is pretty much the same. Um, the max daily loss is 5%. The max daily loss on my Forex funds is 5% as well. Now the overall drawdown though 
is 12% on my Forex funds versus FTMO, it is 10%. So there are like pros and cons with each prop firm, but honestly, like FTMO is, it's a better platform, but it's more established and their back office and everything is way better. But my Forex funds is cheaper. Um, the overall drawdown is higher um, for the overall drawdown and their profit target set at 10%, it's 8%. So FTMO doesn't have those things that my Forex funds has. Now, I wanna let you guys know that you do not need to rush these challenges whatsoever. They both have these extensions. So basically, here's two things that's really special about these prop firms that a lot of these new BS prop firms do not have. They'll give you an extension of 14 days if you're above 5% of your account. So realistically, you do not have just 30 days to complete your challenge. You have 44 days, which is plenty of time. So if I get a $100,000 challenge, right? And I get it to $105,000 after the 30 days, cool. You email them or go to the support chat and they'll give you an extra 14 days. So I really have 44 days to complete my challenge. Now here's a really cool thing about these prop firms as well, is they have something called a repeat. So let's say that I get my $100,000 account and I only get it to $102,000 after the 30 days, then they'll actually give me a repeat. Well, they'll give me a brand new account. It just starts all over at 100K. So instead of you having to pay $550 or whatever it may be to buy another challenge or retake it, they'll just give you another challenge for free to retake. So that's something that you guys need to keep into consideration. Um, phase two, 60 days, like guys, 60 days to make $5,000, 5% on whatever account you do, like simple. The reason why all these traders are failing these challenges is because they're rushing. They have not conquered their impatience that they have had their whole entire life. And I'm speaking from experience. A lot of people in this day and age do not have any patience whatsoever. How do I know this? It's because our attention span is like 15 seconds. People can't even watch a reel on Instagram for 20, 30 seconds without skipping it. Have you ever seen somebody on TikTok, guys? Have you ever watched somebody on TikTok just scroll like, duh, 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 they're like zombies? You guys, you need to be patient. And I know that we live in this hustler, this hustler culture where everyone's like, grind, 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 grind. Like, guys, stop comparing your life with other people's lives. We want to do this the right way, not the quick way. So follow what I'm going to teach you in this video and you will pass these challenges. So let me go over. Like, I think this is just like the framework of what needs to be done. So this is like the framework to pass these challenges. Let's dive into it. So... All we need is eight to 10% to pass our challenge. Now, one thing that a lot of traders don't know is the loss size that they need to be using to pass these challenges. If you guys have 100K, use a 20 lot, okay? But here's the thing. We're gonna be going for a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. Our stop loss is gonna be a thousand pips every trade, but our TP is also going to be a thousand pips. If you're looking for these setups that I look for that I'm gonna show you in a second, like guys, you will break the markets every single freaking time. So with the $100,000 account, we're gonna use a 20 lot. So if we catch a thousand pips, we're gonna make $2,000. With my Forex funds, all we need is four good trades to take. And this is where you guys need to understand, it's not like we're trading every single day, every single trade. Like guys, we need four trades to pass my Forex funds on phase one. And then you need five trades with the 10, a 20 law on a $100,000 account to pass your FTMO challenge. So if you're gonna do 100K, that's the lot size you need to use. If you're going to do a 200K, use a 40 law. So this is the thing too that you guys need to understand is the overall drawdown is 5% each day. So two, $2,000, of $100,000, that's only 2%. You're never going to hit your daily drawdown if you're taking one trade per day with the 20 lot. Impossible. That's why I'm giving you guys this framework. Same thing, if you have a $200,000 account, use a 40 lot. The max loss that you're gonna take in a day is $4,000. You guys need to get in the emotional mindset of just accepting losses for what they are. If you're following all your trading rules, you're not being greedy and you're just being smart, 
There's no reason to be angry about taking a loss. It's all part of the game. So these are the lot sizes you guys must move, use. So you only need a couple of thousand pip moves, five to seven trades. Realistically, it's like four on my Forex funds and five on FTMO. So this is the important part. We're gonna go for a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio. We're using a thousand pip stop loss to a thousand pip TP. Every single trade that you take, you're going for a thousand pips. And NAS 100 and US 30 hit those thousand pip points very often with this strategy that I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. What are we trading? At the market open, baby. That's when the money's fluctuating in and out of the market. We need to be in the market when the money is there. One thing, set and forget your trade. When you guys take a trade, just set your trade. Put your phone down, like guys, hide your phone. Do whatever you need to do to not just stare like a zombie at your phone all day. Do not manually close your trades because if you get into the habit of manually closing your trades, you're gonna leave money on the table and you're not gonna be able to pass your challenge within four to five trades. Follow this framework for me. Please just let go of all the other BS that anyone's taught you on YouTube and you just filtered your mind with like, guys, just like drop it all. Today is a day where you see a new beginning. Get excited as you are watching this video. It's here, guys. Your breakthrough is here. Your breakthrough is here, but you need to believe it because what you think about, you bring about. So if you come into this with this negative BS that you've had your whole entire trading career, saying, oh, I don't know if I'm capable of being successful. Oh, I'm probably going to fail. Like, guys, a lot of you are just constantly just negative, 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 negative. Your whole life is just a negative cycle. Get the fuck out of that immediately. You guys, your breakthrough is here, okay? Believe it, declare it, manifest it. So let's go over this strategy. The only indicators that you guys need to get on your own charts are this one. So we're gonna get the Asia range and kill zones right here. Click that. And this deviates where the Asia range is. And then we need to get one more indicator. So you're gonna type in sessions. Oh, looks like I can't spell today. So we're gonna get the Sessions Asia London New York colored, this one right here. Once you have that, you're gonna see this box appear right here. Guys, you can do whatever you want with the Sessions indicator, but the Sessions indicator, I have it set up like this. If it will load, I don't know if it likes me today. Okay, look, so I don't have the Asia mark, I don't have the London, only the New York. I have it in white at 10% opacity. Okay, this deviates right here, this box behind the charts that tells me when the New York session is opening up. Very visual guy, if you don't know, I like the nice visual stuff on my charts. Then we have our kill zones. All you need to focus on for this indicator is this right here, the inputs, the Asia range color. That's all you need, okay? We need to look at the Asia range and we need to figure out what price is doing from the Asia session right here, it's already marked up. Then we need to see what price is doing from the Asia to the beginning of the London session. So right here's the London session open right here. So this is 2345. That's 12 a.m. 12 a.m. PST. That's my time in California. So we're going to look from 12 p.m. PST all the way to 5 a.m. So right here, let's mark this up. We have our Asia session right here. Then within this box right here, we have our London session, right? And then we have the open of our New York session. So these are the times you want to focus on right here. The 6.15 now to the 5 a.m. So 5 a.m. to the 6.15 candle. I'm on the minute 15, by the way. We're not turning on any other time frames. Use the minute 15 time frame with this strategy, okay? So we have now Friday, or we have the Asia session, the London session, and the open of the New York session to the open of the market open. There's a difference between the New York session open to the market open, okay? Keep that in mind. So what we're doing is guys, we wanna be doing this one thing. This is the easiest way to do it. Get your Asia session, mark it up, get a rectangle like this and move it to the right. All you're gonna do is get the high and the low of it and extend into the future. Simplest thing ever, watch this. All we wanna see, all we wanna see is the low right here to be broken and for price to go into that trend. 
or we want to see the high broken and for price to continue to go into that trend. If it comes into this box right here, this is what I call the median point for the Asia session. That's straight. I just don't want it to break the low like it did here and then go high and then low. That's choppy. So we're looking for very smooth markets. So note how this candle right here, it broke the low of the Asia session, came down. Yeah, it came back to the median point in here, but then it went low. And then it came back, didn't retest even the low again. Notice how price just keeps going down. So that's what we're looking for is we're looking for one continuous smooth market from the Asia to the London to the New York. And then at the market open, this is where we're actually going to look to take our trade. So we could see right here is our signaling candle right here. We have this hammerhead candle. You could have sold all the way down here to this next level or to this support right here. And I don't know if this would have been like a thousand pip move. I would have probably gone for it. Yeah, it's like 700 pips right there. So you can go for a one to one risk to reward ratio, or you can maybe go for like a smaller take profit just so you're like bagging those trades as much as possible. If your take profit is smaller, that means you're gonna take more trades. There's more risk, but there's a higher possibility for your take profits being hit. With me, I just use psychological levels as my take profits, guys. Like they work amazing. So it's really up to you what you wanna do to use your take profits, but finding your take profit is the simplest thing of this strategy. So let's go and see if we can find one more example so I can show you what this actually looks like. Okay. All right, this is Tuesday, so I wouldn't do that. I wanna find a really nice example. Okay, here we go. Look, so check this out, guys. Notice how we have our Asia range right here. What does price do? Price breaks the upside. So we can see price breaks the high of the Asia session right here. And now price is going up. Look at how smooth this is. Like this is nice. Then what, what do we have right here? Here's our 615 candle right here. This is our entry candle. We want to see, and this is the simplest thing ever. Write this down. Note takers are action takers. You want to find a candle to enter on that's in confluence with the Asia range trend. So we're in an uptrend right here, right? We want to find a candle that's in confluence with that trend. So what do we see right here? We have our spinning top. Wicks to the top, it's gonna drop. Wicks to the bottom, it's gonna go up. We see wicks to the bottom, spinning top right here, right into this next level right here, or even this next level right here. Simple as that. Guys, this is the strategy to pass your challenges. But when you enter into these trades, you need to set and forget your trade. Don't go in here and manually close it. Don't do any dumb stuff like that. Just let your trade do its thing and it will play out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Thank you.